Back at it, guys. After a long weekend, got to go pick up a driver, and I'll show you why. So today, one of my jobs was to go pick up a driver, we dropped off this truck and a belt trailer, and we're here in this bean field. Believe it or not, this is another type of bean that we haul. This one, it looks just like a string bean, but you pop it open and it's actually, there's kidney beans in there. Pretty cool. So there's a combine, combine in here, and Oh, you can see him up there. So we're going to park the trailer here. I come to pick up the driver and we're going to take him back. He's going to come get another load. I'll see if I can get some footage of him unloading into the trailer. And maybe I'll catch right with the combine here in a bit. So we're just hauling this on our belt trailer. Uh, it does go... Going to have to get narrowed down. These belt trailers are pretty cool. They have a hopper attachment right here on the other side of the trailer. And that one you just lift by hand. It weighs maybe 50 pounds, 75 pounds. And attaches right here on the back of the trailer. And it just necks it down and they can put it right into a hopper. So, yeah, now I gotta take this driver back. We're gonna go get another truck because he can only do about, I think, eight ton to the acre. So it's gonna take him a couple hours to get 30 tons and uh he's gonna bring another truck back drop it off that way he can keep combining while he goes and unloads this one so that's that's kind of why we have a lot of trucks too sometimes uh different parts of the year we get where we use a lot of these trucks and sometimes having older trucks ain't so bad you can kind of bring them out to the field set them here so this trailer's got a air scale basically just an air gauge so the driver got it right at about 90 88 maybe and when that black gauge goes up to the red one, good to go. So in order to avoid uh, too much augering of these beans, what happens is they break apart and they lose quality. Uh, they can't have any broken ones. So what they do is they go from the combine right into our trailers. That way uh, there's no, there's less augering. This is our first time hauling kidney beans you know there's a first time for everything right so hopefully everything goes well here's the combine obviously it's got to be a John Deere We head back. We're gonna get this other truck over here. Just a little look at what we haul. I tell you, something new every day. No, not quite. Every year, it seems like there's always something unique that we haul. And I don't know if you heard him saying or not, but he's also got some black beans they're gonna be hauling. Um, they're not ready yet, but they're gonna be ready in a couple weeks. And we're gonna be hauling them. So. I'm going to jump the ditch here, take a peek at him. And 
let me know guys if you ever hauled kidney beans or black beans this is a black one look at that just some black beans so the red beans are a bit bigger these black ones are smaller they just they look like they got to dry down a little bit All right, guys, I'm back. I want to give you a little update on the shop. You can see things are progressing pretty well. This is going to be the entrance here. You got the spot for the three doors, three big garage doors here, and then there's going to be two down on the other end. They're just waiting to pour some of this concrete for these walls over here. There's gonna be a loading dock, some of that stuff over there. So, 80 by 165. So you can see the change in levels here. It actually steps up quite a bit up there. The reason this is so uh, deep here is because there's actually a loading dock going on the other side. We're going to be able to uh, back in two semi-trailers on this side of the shop. That way they can unload if they need to. And we'll probably put our tires and some of those things in the storage trailers. And then we can just bring a trailer up if we need to and, and uh, unload it like that. See this big pump truck? See what this thing is if you saw the one last week that was a Kenworth very very similar to this wow I wonder how far you can reach so it looks like they got a few more forms to set up so this is a separate room this is where the furnace room is some of the oils uh, the air compressor some of that's going in here it's got to be in a separate uh, room off of the shop. There's gonna be a firewall in there. These pump trucks are massive. Walking right under it. Okay, they got the boom straight out. 105 feet. Keep that hose pointed down. <laughs> this concrete must have came in pretty wet already because they just got here and they're already pumping it. So. Hundred and five feet. It's pretty impressive. This company actually has uh, twelve of these pump trucks that's how much they do one thing for sure guys that beats a wheelbarrow and shovel would be uh that'd be a rough day on the job guys thanks so much for watching the video peace out